And we are back once more and finally ready to start smelting. Don't have much lava. Don't have much at all. How much? Actually, 850. Hmm. Well, let's see what we need to make. Well, what we need. <laughs> Aluminum brass takes aluminum and copper. Need aluminum brass. Aluminum and tin, no copper. Aluminum brass is made to use, or used to make, rather, the templates that we need in order to make the tools with metal. Alternatively, we can use gold, but gold is a lot more scarce. Then, uh, well, a lot more scarce than what anything else is. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm not sure what the optimal level to mine at for this stuff. But for now, I'm just going to mine at 49 here, because that should be... Pretty sure that's low enough for your bronze, aluminum, and the rest, or at least for the bronze to spawn. But not uh, too low to where it won't spawn. I'm gonna have to mine a little bit to try and find some of that stuff and be back again. In a few seconds. And we are back. I found a little bit of copper, more than I actually need because I'm actually limited by aluminum now. Um, but we have a little bit of aluminum brass. We had enough to make four casts. I already made an ingot cast so we can make three more. Now, right now, I'm trying to decide what I'm actually going to make our next pick out of. So that way we can best use our cast in the best way possible. Now, normally, I would want to make a, early on like this, a stone pick or hammer. Well, mainly when it comes to the hammer, you want it to be stone. Uh, and then you would add a diamond to allow it to mine, or get extra durability and mine higher level uh, ores. But we can't do that yet, because we can't get diamond without being able to first mine higher level ores. So we're going to have to make a pick with an iron head, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, there's nothing else that we can get here. Uh, we have an obsidian sword, but not an obsidian pick. We can't get obsidian any other way right now. Uh, Alumite... Do not think we can get yet. I can't get another whack. Green slime hasn't even seen a slime island yet. Paper's useless. Can't get those. Could use bronze, but you got, might as well just use iron at that point. Is a diamond? Because it's mine level to three. But we can't get a diamond yet. I mean, we can't mine diamond. So that's currently out of the option. We have to get an iron pick first. And then uh, you can use the diamond. And nothing else here will help us. Plus, we don't have a tool station either, so <laughs> you don't even have that yet. Because I'm pretty sure that... Oh, yeah, we do have a tool station. What is it that we don't have yet, then? There's one of the things we don't have yet. Tool forge. Is it the tool forge that upgrades, though? Or... 
Or no, no, it's the tool forge that allows you to build the better... Uh, allows you to build a hammer and the like. Let's see if we can't get this yet. Because we don't have enough iron. So it looks like we're going to need to make a pickaxe head. So the way we do this is just take our pickaxe head pattern, make a stone pickaxe head, plop it in here. We have some aluminum brass, which was one copper and three aluminum. Fill her up. And there we go. I also got an ingot cast as well. Uh, this pickaxe head we can I'll store it for now. Uh, the ingot cast I just used a seared brick as an ingot because it's the same shape. Wondered if it worked and it did, which is convenient. Okay, so we have pickaxe head. Um what else will we need? Require the binding and the handle. What bonuses do each of those give? Binding... I am not certain on. I think the binding just adds... adds to the durability, the mining speed, yeah, the attack... well, not for the attack, well... Technically, it's the attack on the pick, but that's not the important part of the pick. Uh, but I believe it would uh, add to the durability, potentially the mining speed, and any special abilities. And then the handle gives a handle modifier. So we want to have the best handle modifier possible. 1.5. Actually, it would have been better to have a wood handle on this stone pick. Didn't think about that at the moment, at the time. 1.3 on iron. Blue slime is your nice handle, but we used it for our matic. Well, I believe that was a pre-made piece anyway, so... Don't have any way to make the slime. It looks like iron would be the best. Paper uh, gives writable ability, which allows an extra modifier, but that's not really important at this juncture. That'd be for some later things, and you generally use it for the binding, not the handle, because you want the better handle modifier. Um, for the binding, probably a stone binding. So we get it stone bound, and then iron. Oh crap. How the heck did they get down here? Oh, out here. How? It is completely lit up out here. Was completely lit up out here. One heart now. Obviously came from outside. Just don't get how they got in. May need to actually put these walls all the way down. Place the door. Now I gotta heal. <laughs> At least, I guess, this gives us an introduction to healing in this game. Alright, so how do we do the prayers? Prayer. Okay, recipe. Two lapis, ink sack, paper. We got that. Uh, where is the reeds? See him. Oh, right. Bag. Yeah, there. Uh, 
mostly out there outside the walls. Yeah, I don't know how they got in. Strange. Alright, get a couple lapis here. The paper. Lucky didn't die there. Can't get to us now since I blocked off the door, so don't need to worry at the moment. Uh, ink sack. Paper, ink sack, lapis. So the way this prayer works is that when you create it, you want to do it as close to noon as possible. The time of day will change the chance of getting the best regeneration effect. So you want to do it at, right at noon. Come on, get close there. And you just hold it, and you can only do it once every 24 Minecraft hours. I'm actually going to do it just a little bit before noon here. I now. It's still working, it just graphic doesn't work completely sometimes. Oh, I guess I did release it. Got about five seconds of regeneration, so a decent amount of hearts. Three and a half. Back. Yeah, I am definitely going to go have to fix this stuff out there. Why am I doing that with logs? <laughs> What I'm gonna do, make a chest, plop all my stuff in here. Luxury of being at home. So I can do this. Can't do this when I'm out and about, but I can do this here. possible. Need it. So I am going to go take these walls all the way down so that way they can't get under and then I might have to consider raising the wall at some point too. But for now, just completing the wall to the seafloor. Make sure they can't get under. Alright, so I've taken the wall down by a lot. It touches the seafloor all the way around the base except for this little spot here and this corner over here just because it's so deep I can barely even see. And they're, the mobs aren't going to get that deep in the water, but it prevents them. I did see them you know, swimming like down to right around this level and it'll prevent them from getting through there. And hopefully they aren't getting over the top somehow. Don't know how they would, but you never know with this game. So hopefully that will keep them out now. But I will continue keeping the door blocked just in case. Oh, a lot did lose another heart from drowning, unfortunately. It was not what I wanted to have happen. I take my stuff back now. Food, all the ores, torches. I'm just going to take the stuff I actually need at the moment.
and what remains of my towel. Oh, and the book. So back to what we were actually doing. We're looking at materials. So, iron rod, which will give us reinforced an iron pickaxe head, which will also give us reinforced, and a stone binding. What I was thinking. Yeah, that looks like it's the best option, so we'll need a handle. That we can just use a stick. Stick. Or not. Oh yeah, because the stick's flammable. So you actually gotta make the stone tool rod. And then you can make the binding with the other half. Now we have one more cast that we can make. What are we going to make that out of? Hmm. Shovel, possibly. Having a new better shovel would be nice. So it looks like an axe and shovel but not your fifty for there. I think the reason why Matic my Matic isn't very good at doing the shovel part is probably because the shovel head was a slime shovel head, which is pretty bad. And of course it's not a replacement for either, so it's not quite as good. That's what a shovel would be. A sword would be nice, but that requires two Things, the sword blade and then the guard, which we don't have the capability of doing. Frying pan is an option. Knocks uh, enemies back and stuns them. Also allows you to cook food. Would be quite useful. Can't make these yet. And the bow isn't very useful yet. So it's between a shovel or a frying pan. The sword is almost dead, so it's probably good to get a weapon. Because we don't quite have enough, and I want to keep the gold as gold. I don't want to use it right now. I'll have to find some more aluminum before we make a proper sword. And the frying pan will be useful. But I'm going to be mining for a while in order to get stuff to make more aluminum brass, so it might be better to have a shovel head at this point, so I think I'll do that. Do need sword, but hey, we've got a sword blade here to make an obsidian sword. Though I don't know how good that would be. <laughs> I actually want to check how, what would obsidian sword be like. One heart. I guess the iron's the same. Stability 89. So it would be very durable. Would make a very good mining sword. <laughs> it does have reinforced though. Uh, yeah, it's not, not my priority right now. So we'll make the shelf head instead. There we go. 
So, let's make our pickaxe. Need to put our iron in. Where's my iron? There you go. I want to take a look at the alloys. I think the alloys were in the black book. And copper, aluminum, iron, obsidian, cobalt, and argite. Copper and tin. So we got ways away from getting alamite. Still. Mining. Smelt, smelt, smelt. This thing. There we go. 18 ingots of iron out of 9. This is why I haven't been smelting any of this stuff because you can get double the amount of ingots this in smeltery. Bleeding all over the place. <laughs> Tour out in. Tourad, pickaxe head, and you shall be called Irony. Stonebound Reinforced One. So long, Stoned. You have been kind to us. Well, actually, no. No, you, you have to stick around, actually. <laughs> I was just thinking. Still need it. Because I can't repair this as much as I can repair stone. But once I get diamonds down there I will be able to make a actual more permanent pick with a stone pickaxe head iron handle and probably an iron binding at this point could use well, no probably use a paper binding so that way you can uh, make it even better, and that will last us then quite a while to, until we start getting better materials. Irony is just a temporary guy at the moment to get stuff like that out of the way <laughs> in order to get the diamonds and some of the other resources that we need. So I'm going to go do some more mining. This episode's probably going on for quite a while. Between all of the cuts and having to go back and forth and things distracting us like that stupid zombie. Uh, it's gone way, way over time. Hear him out there. Sounds surprisingly close. I guess it's just the way the sound engine is. Anyways, I'm gonna go probably deal with those zombies. Oh, maybe. Might just leave them there. But I will be needing to heal up, do some mining, get more and more resources, and find a better... <laughs> you can't get over. <laughs> I blocked your only way in. I, I might still deal with them, but I have some other priorities at the moment. So I'm going to go do some off-camera work, and I will see you guys when I am ready to make our new, longer-lasting, more permanent pick. See you then.